Hello everybody, and this is Roach. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Sword of the Stars. And, uh, I'm sorry to say this, but, uh, it's been, you know, it's been fun. This whole Let's Play, I've enjoyed it a lot, and I know you guys have. My view count has gone up quite a bit since I started playing this, so it's my subscriber count, everything like that. It makes me feel good about doing this Let's Play. But, this will be the final session for this particular Let's Play. I may at some point do another Sword of the Stars game, but not immediately. Uh, but it's pretty apparent that we have lost this game. As a veteran Sword of the Stars player, you know, sometimes you get blindsided by just certain things that happen. And that's always the fun part. You know, every game's different. Um, and with our outer cores on the border with our hostile enemies falling, uh, and our inner core planets falling one by one, with almost nothing we can do, it's uh, it's pretty apparent we, we've lost this. And also with a uh, maniacal uh, AI enemy down in our south that uh, did not go as planned, <laughs> I think we can uh, safely say we've lost this game. So I'm going to play out a full session, which is about an hour of recording for me. Uh, and that, whenever, whatever happens, happens, and that'll be the last of it, and that's how we'll end it off. And uh, then next week... I'll be starting my next Let's Play, uh, which I'm keeping secret right now. There's a lot of options that I can go with, so we'll talk about those throughout this whole session. So let's go on. Uh, right now, I'm just going to end the turn and kind of see where we are. Uh, it's been about a week since my last recording. Uh, it's, it should have been two weeks. I took a week off because I've been feeling really bad. My throat's been sore. Uh, every time I talked, it, like, swole up, so I'm, I think I'm good enough to do about an hour recording right now, so, you know, that's what I'm going to do. Because uh, you guys deserve uh, at least somewhat steady uh, content. And, uh, you know, I'm here to provide. <laughs> you will hear me cough every now and then. I'm very congested. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's just, uh, unfortunately, where I am right now. Okay, so Knight is attacking Albaran. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do anything to them. Yeah. Okay, we'll end the turn. Alright, let's see what we got. What are the damages? System update. Alright. <clears throat> Enemy armada incoming. Yeah, we just lost Alperan. Okay. Fleet arrived at foundation, that's good. Lost the battle. No longer secure. Enemy of seven ships. Yeah, saw that one coming. Not much I can do there. Uh, that might not have been a good idea, but we'll we'll go with it anyway. Um, not really much we can do with the building. Final defensive measures, I guess. We'll put up a couple of uh, warships and CNC. Just to round out this fleet we put here. <clears throat> Hopefully we'll be able to defend at least one or two turns at our home world. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like I said, you know, I've been feeling sick. But I have been playing games, kind of seeing where I want to go with Let's Playing. Uh, just trying out a whole bunch of them and getting a feel for them. See if they make a good Let's Play. And I got a couple of options. I got, uh, there's Darkest Hour, which is a Hearts of Iron, official Hearts of Iron mod that you can get on Steam. Uh, and I used to never really like the Hearts of Iron series. It was just too different from the Paradox games I started on. Um, but I think I'm getting the hang of it to the point where I could do a Let's Play of it. The only problem I have is that I can't control the actual, like, I can't, it doesn't have variable speed like the other Paradox games do, and that gets annoying really quick. Um, but, you know, I can live with it. Alright, so we lost a world. Yeah, didn't, they didn't even take it, they just destroyed everything. My god. They really are evil. But, uh, so there's, there's Darkest Hour. And uh, I've played a game in that over this last week, and I've been enjoying it quite a bit. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, it's a, I don't know what country I'd do in it, but um, 
I think it would make for an interesting kind of long-term let's play. Um, what else is there? I've been trying Banished. The only problem with Banished is there's no end game. There's no, like, w victory condition. I'd have to make them myself, and I'm very bad at that. Uh, so that might be a secondary let's play I might do. Uh, there is Dwarf Fortress. I started playing that again, and I'm not really good at it, but it could be an interesting little let's play for you guys to watch and check out. Um, it's a very fun game. I recommend it to everybody. Um, let's see. Hmm, we could actually fight that one. I think we will. Yeah, okay. So, we'll have to fight that one. But, uh, yeah, there's Dwarf Fortress, and that's, you know, fun. Uh, I also have a game called Unreal World, which is kind of like a Dwarf Fortress type, like, scale and what you can do. But it's, like, set in... You play as a single person, a character. It's a roguelike. Um, inside of kind of, a, like... What would it be? Iron Age or Copper Age? Like, F Finland or Scandinavia? And it's really cool. It's a cool little game. And it has a lot of depth to it. It's mostly a survival game. So, you know. Thought maybe you guys would enjoy that. Well, we have freighters on the firing line. <clears throat> you know what? If it's all we have, I'm okay with this. They're willing to fight it out with the rest of us. We're gonna focus fire on... <clears throat> him. Alright, let's see what we got. lost that guy. These are old style dreadnoughts, so I don't know how much damage we're actually going to do. They're wiping the colony. Okay, yeah. All we can do is do as much damage as possible. One kill. Nope. We just did a whole bunch of damage, but no kills. Alright, well. <laughs> yeah, this is why we're ending the game at this session. <laughs> System update. Okay, so we've lost... Yeah, we lost that guy. Okay, so that means they're going to come and wipe this out. Yeah, I'm being systematically destroyed. Alright, well... All we can hope is to build up our Dreadnought fleet at home on our foundation. And make one last George Custer-esque stand. <laughs> 
Uh, but yeah, those three games are going to be kind of what I'm choosing. Darkest Hour, uh, well, actually there's four. Darkest Hour, Banished, uh, Dwarf Fortress, or Unreal World. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have played them. You probably haven't. Uh, a couple of them aren't exactly the uh, most popular game, especially Unreal World. It's a very small game. Uh, but if you guys have, or if you have an opinion on what I should play... You know, leave it in the uh, just you know, leave it in a comment down below, or you know, message anything. Like, give me some opinions about it, because I would love to hear uh, if you guys have um, like a preference. Okay, so far I don't think we're in any better straits. Oh, yep, here we go. Two ships, probably dreadnoughts. Okay, manage this fleet, Armada. Okay, so we're gonna, we want a warship next to it. And with another warship next to it. Okay, so we can't do anything else. Reinforcements, we're gonna want another warship. Followed by a barrage. Hit blazer, and then we'll get the standard armor after that. Okay, <clears throat> we'll be good. All right. We do not want to lose foundation. Hmm. By the way, just to something that keeps popping up in the comments and every and everything, uh, the sequel to this game, Sword of the Stars, Sword of the Stars Two, uh, was widely considered to be pretty bad in comparison with this game. It has a lot more problems. It had a lot more problems definitely at launch, and it just generally dropped the ball. And it's not as well liked. I've noticed over the last couple of uh, over the last. I don't know, a couple of years, that that seems to be happening a lot more with games I enjoy. Because I play, uh, I play Men of War Assault Squad. I've been playing that a lot lately. I can't really record it. Um, but the sequel just came out. And I started playing the sequel, because uh, I got into the beta, because I pre-ordered it. Um, and I'm noticing, I'm not really liking it as much. It's very... It's just not as good as the original. Like, they change too many things, and it doesn't play as well. And there's been a lot of sequels lately that have kind of been doing that. And I don't know why. Maybe I'm just getting more jaded to gaming in general, but <laughs> uh, hopefully not. Alright, we should be able to win this one. This is the most defended planet in our entire system. Wow, we're putting so many missiles into them, some of them are actually getting through. <clears throat> yes! We win! It's the first victory we've had in a while, but it's going to be short-lived. When they send a fleet of dreadnoughts to us, I don't know how long we're going to last. Yeah, and the armada took some damage too, so that's not good. So we're going to repair. Repair all done. We're going to manage the fleets as well. We are definitely going to bring the armada back. We're going to put the warships I 
It's close enough. <laughs> okay, that should work. All right. So we're still researching. Yeah, it's 31 turns now. It's what we have to do, it's what we have to do. If we can inflict more casualties with the node missiles, maybe we can hold them off for a couple more turns. Because even though this is going to be the last session, I really don't want to lose my main... Uh, system, my home system, like, in this video. <laughs> Ooh. Let them duke that out. That is why I made you, to fight my wars for me. System update. Oh, wow. They just won. <laughs> that's not good. <clears throat> See, that's that's the problem. I'm going to I'm going to go to another turn, but just that's the problem. Once the like in this game, once a faction gets a lead, that's pretty much it. The game's almost over. <clears throat> Cuz it takes a lot to catch up to it and getting these other um factions to work together is like herding cats like the only way we could have won this after the leer used their um the marigi shield to focus their entire uh research bonuses on just research and gaining this huge technological advantage and then sharing it with the, with the marigi together they became the superpower and the only way to beat them would have been to have the hiver the tarka and me come together and attack them at the same time so they'd have to split their forces but obviously as soon as i joined the alliance the hiver decided to break off and then declare war which was a problem going in. Hopefully we can just depopulate the whole planet. Well, if the load times would be a bit quicker, we could actually depopulate the whole planet. God. <clears throat> Here we go. 